Want to speak real Italian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at italianpod101.com. Immersion is often hailed as the most efficient and effective way to learn a foreign language. In many ways, it's true. With all the language learning methods out there, nothing else comes close to having to think and interact with your environment in the language you're learning. Unfortunately, though, most language learners wrongly assume that the only way to experience language immersion is to pack up and move to a foreign country. But not everyone can afford to spend a summer abroad just to learn a foreign language. Luckily, there are other ways to immerse yourself. These methods are less obvious, but they are effective. In this video, we'll take a look at five steps you can take for the ultimate language immersion experience at home. Number one, transform your digital world into your target language. Technology is an indispensable part of modern life. We interact with phones, computers, tablets, and other electronic devices throughout the day. Why not take these interactions and use them to practice your target language? Most devices give you the option of switching the language of the operating system. Switching your phone or laptop interface to your target language won't make you fluent, but it will help you engage with the language in a very practical way, multiple times every day. Another way to transform your digital life is to check which sites you use on a daily basis and use them in your target language also. A great example of this is switching your version of Google. Using Google in your target language will allow you to search for things in that language and you're more likely to get results in that language as well. So, if you're looking for a popular band, a show, or food, something that's usually written in your target language, it will actually be easier to find information about it if you switch your version of Google. Of course, you can also change popular social networks like Facebook or Twitter. You can even go to news sites for your fill of global news. Do you like podcasts? Try listening to a couple popular podcasts in your target language. Number two, write out a speech or conversation in your target language. A surefire way to increase your ability in a foreign language is to write out a mock conversation or speech in that language. Pretend you have to give a speech on one of your favorite topics. It could be anything from sports, hobbies, or even your favorite movie genre. Now, take some time to write out your fictitious speech. Inevitably, you will hit some roadblocks. But when you get stuck, research the words or grammar points you don't know. This is a highly effective and practical way to increase your vocabulary, and it'll help you practice thinking in a different language. Writing a long, connected train of thoughts exposes the gaps and weaknesses in your language studying. Once you know what these are, you're free to practice them and use them to continue on with your speech. This is also a great way to learn new words in the context of your entire speech. Context is king when you're learning a language. Learning words in the context of other words and sentences helps you surmise what new words mean. It also helps you get comfortable with how these words are practically used. Not to mention, context helps you to remember and recall new information more easily. Number three, practice with native speakers. There are a lot of great learning resources out there for anyone learning a new language. However, nothing quite comes close to practicing the language with a real person. If you live in or around a large metropolitan area, there's a chance that there are some native speakers nearby. Check and see if your area has any local language exchanges or language speaking groups. You're likely to find a native speaker there. If you can't make a connection locally, you can search online. Just as there are language exchanges in the real world, there are also online ones, most of which are free. Number four, connect with other language learners. Native speakers aren't the only people who can aid you on your language learning journey. Practicing with other learners is also helpful. Don't worry if you practice with someone who has a higher or lower level in the language than you. If you're the more advanced learner, you can learn a lot by teaching someone else. As you help someone else understand difficult words or grammatical concepts, you'll find that you start to better understand them yourself. If your learning partner has a higher level, they can be the one to help you overcome the hurdles you encounter as a beginner. After all, what better way to learn than from someone who, as a language learner, has been in your shoes? Number five, reward yourself in your target language. At the end of a busy day, we all love a little relaxation and me time. One of the most enjoyable and effective ways to develop your language skills is to kick back and enjoy the language while doing leisure activities. Whether it's listening to music, watching a movie or TV show, reading a book, or even enjoying a good online video binge, 
Even spending just an extra 30 minutes a day doing something you love in your target language can yield some serious long-term results. If you're a beginner, start with more basic content. You might have to start out listening to simple songs or even watching children's shows. After a while, though, you'll be able to dive into the meatier stuff and more engaging stuff as your proficiency increases. Learning a foreign language doesn't mean you have to spend your days straining over grammar rules or textbooks. Any way that you can take your learning off the page and make it more enjoyable will help you learn faster. Immersion is a powerful way to learn a foreign language. And now, more than ever, the immersion experience isn't limited to just world travelers. With a little creativity and the right resources, you can experience the language without ever having to leave your hometown. Many of these resources can be found with our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to immerse yourself in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description. Learning to carry a conversation is vital to mastery of any language. Even beginners can quickly learn conversational language well enough to carry on real conversations with native speakers. Of course, beginners won't be able to carry a conversation the same way they could in their native language. But just knowing a few tips, like which questions to ask to keep a conversation going, are all you need to speak and interact with real native speakers. Before we get to specific suggestions, let's first take a closer look at how having real conversations in your target language is so vital to your mastery of the language. Communicating with other people is the very point of language, and conversation comes easily in our native tongue. For beginners, or anyone learning a new language, conversations aren't easy at all, and even simple greetings can be intimidating and awkward. Nothing kills a conversation faster than long periods of awkward silence, so you need practice and specific strategies to avoid them. When you know what to say to keep a conversation going, communication becomes much easier, and you make a better impression on your listener. Nothing will help you learn to speak a language faster and truly master the language than having real conversations with native speakers. Conversations quickly expose you to slang, cultural expressions, and vocabulary that force you to absorb and assimilate information faster than any educational setting. And that's a great thing! But how can you possibly have real conversations with real people if you're just starting out? Here are three proven methods that even beginners can quickly use to learn conversational language to make a great impression and avoid awkward silences. First, ask questions to keep a conversation going. For beginners and even more advanced speakers, the key is to ask questions to keep a conversation going. Of course, they can't be just random questions or else you may confuse the listener. But by memorizing a few key questions and the appropriate time to use them, you can easily carry a conversation with minimal vocabulary or experience. And remember, the more conversations you have, the quicker you will learn and master the language. Second, learn core vocabulary terms as quickly as possible. You don't need to memorize thousands of words to learn conversational language. In fact, with just a couple hundred words, you could have a very basic conversation. And by learning maybe 1,000 to 2,000 words, you could carry a conversation with a native speaker about current events, order in restaurants, and even get directions. To help you get started with this, check out our 2,000 common words, also known as our core list. These 2,000 words are all you need to learn to speak fluently and carry a conversation with a native speaker. Third, study video or audio lessons that you can play and replay again and again. If you want to know how to carry on a conversation, then you need exposure to native speakers, and the more, the better. Studying video or audio lessons is ideal because they provide contextualized learning in your native language, and you can play them again and again until you achieve mastery. Our instructors have created more than 2,500 video and audio lessons that you can play over and over. And the best part is, they don't just teach you vocabulary and grammar. They are designed to help you learn to speak and teach you practical everyday topics like shopping, ordering, and more. 
Although it may seem intimidating for a beginner, the truth is that it's very easy to learn conversational language. Just learn a few core vocabulary terms and which questions to ask to keep a conversation going. Our language learning program has the world's largest online collection of video and audio lessons by real instructors. Plus, tons of advanced tools to help you learn to speak and carry on a conversation quickly. Just a little practice and exposure to real conversations or lessons is all it really takes. So, if you're ready to finally learn a new language the fast, fun, and easy way, sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Signing up takes less than 30 seconds, and you'll start speaking from your very first lesson. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Most people don't like to hear this, but consistent hard work is one of the biggest factors in your language learning success. The course or method you choose makes a difference too, but at the end of the day, you ride or die by the work you put in. The quantity of time spent studying language doesn't necessarily determine the quality of your study. Spending three hours a day watching movies doesn't help you learn much if you're not actively engaging with the language. In this video, we'll talk about three ways to actively engage your mind while studying a new language. Number one, think of your brain as a muscle. You're probably familiar with the phrase, feel the burn, or maybe no pain, no gain. If you've been to your local gym recently, there's a chance you might have heard one of these phrases or seen them plastered on a wall. There's an idea in the world of sports and workouts that the discomfort you feel when running, pumping iron, or doing some other physical activity is what brings results. During a healthy workout, the muscles of the body are affected at a microscopic level. The discomfort you feel is your muscles being pushed to their limit. It's the limit pushing that strengthens your muscles so that over time, your performance increases. In the context of language learning, it's helpful to think of your brain as a muscle. Just as we need to push our physical limits when exercising, we also need to push our mental limits when learning a foreign language. Have you ever studied or practiced your target language in a way that left you tired or even exhausted? If so, you've experienced what it's like to push your brain out of its linguistic comfort zone. Number two, practice active listening. One of the easiest ways to push your language skills is to practice active listening. Active listening is when you listen to someone speaking your target language and you do your best to understand what you hear. The best way to accomplish this is by using audio that you can't completely understand on the first listen. Preferably, you want to use audio that has subtitles or transcripts for you to double check your understanding after you listen to it. You can use movies, YouTube clips, or even our language program, which has very useful transcripts for each lesson. During a practice session, you should listen to the audio several times. The first time around, it's okay if little to no words stick out to you. Simply make a mental note of any words or sounds you recognize. The second time you listen, you're likely to recognize a little more than you did the previous time. Expect similar results with your third or even fourth time listening. After you've hit the ceiling of words you can decipher, go ahead and look at the language subtitles or transcripts. Listen to the audio again, reading along with the text. Odds are that you will see words in the text you know, but didn't hear correctly. You're also likely to encounter words that are new to you completely. As you play back the audio and read along, try to guess what these words mean from the context of the words around them. After you've read along a couple times, feel free to look up the remaining unfamiliar words in a dictionary or translator app. This active listening exercise routine is a great way to increase your listening and comprehension skills while picking up some new vocabulary along the way. It also allows you to learn new words in context, which itself is a powerful method to help you retain what you study. Number three, practicing with native speakers. Practicing with native speakers is the epitome of pushing your language skills. Using what you know to communicate in real time is where the rubber really meets the road. Try to connect with a native speaker on a weekly basis. Regularity is what makes the difference when you're learning a foreign language. If you live in a large metropolitan area, then there's a significant chance that there are some local native speakers nearby. Try hitting up a local language exchange or meetup group to make the necessary connections. If you're unable to find a practice partner locally, then you can take your search online. There are a number of sites out there that help you find and connect with other language learners from around the world. There are tons of language learners around the world who have learned or are learning a second language. 
you're likely to find someone who knows your target language and is looking to improve their own language skills as well. Learning a new language isn't always easy, but it's the discomfort that comes with pushing your ability in the language that produces results in your studies. Don't be afraid to step outside of your comfort zone. The further away you get from your native language, the closer you'll be to attaining fluency. Also remember that language learning is in every way a lot like an adventure. There will be fun times and times when it feels like you're swimming up the proverbial stream. It's by keeping your head up long enough through these ups and downs that you will experience the priceless satisfaction that comes from learning a foreign language. Just keep moving forward. For more help to engage your mind while learning a new language, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to stay engaged with your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description. Let's be honest, it's difficult to learn a new language. If you're new to a language, it's going to take consistent and concentrated effort to start using the language fluently. However, this fact shouldn't discourage you. While learning a new language is hard, it's far from impossible. In this video, we'll outline five tips you can use to jumpstart your language learning. Follow these pointers to learn your target language in a way that is efficient and effective. Number one, limit your native language use when practicing. The idea here is that when you practice with native speakers, you do your best to refrain from using your native language. This is generally harder the less you know, but if you can manage to stick to this rule, you'll reap some huge rewards. If you commit to a no native language practice session, it's not going to be easy. Most likely, there will be some frustrating, if not painstakingly difficult moments where you either have trouble understanding the person you're talking to, or you can't say what you want to say. It's precisely in these moments that your language learning muscles are built up to capacity. The process really isn't all that different from working out in the gym. Just replace the physical burn of lifting weights for the mental burn of thinking in a new language. In the end, if there's no pain, there's no gain. Obviously, this no native language rule doesn't have to be written in stone. There are times when it's more beneficial to break out of the target language box and have something explained to you in your native language. However, this should definitely be the exception rather than the standard. Number two, have set times to practice speaking throughout the week. Now that we've discussed a good way to practice speaking, let's delve a bit into when to speak. One of the best commitments you can keep while learning a new language is to set aside specific times to practice speaking the language on a weekly basis. Ideally, these speaking sessions are on set days at specific times and form part of your weekly routine. If you don't make it a point to set aside specific practice times, you run the risk of your language practice falling through the cracks of your busy schedule. I recommend writing down your practice times and hanging it somewhere you can always see it. You could also input the times into your phone and set an alarm. The point is to remind yourself of your commitment every day so that it doesn't fall by the wayside. Number three, get picky about vocabulary. Whether you practice with a podcast, a friend at a coffee shop, or a teacher, you're going to run into a flood of new and unfamiliar vocabulary. Despite your best efforts, it's unlikely that you'll be able to pin down every new word or phrase you hear and study it later. Thus, you should pick and choose which new words you focus on. The defining quality of each new word you learn should be its practicality. The more useful a word or phrase is to you in a conversation, the more important it is that you learn it. Don't feel like you have to cram the entirety of your target language into one week of study. Take it one step at a time. A few practical words here, some more there. Before you know it, you'll see your vocabulary improve. Number four, write and practice short monologues. This tip can be a lot of fun. Begin by selecting a topic you enjoy discussing. Then, simply write out a short monologue or speech on the subject in your target language. The first thing you'll notice while doing this will likely be the holes in your grammar and vocabulary. But when you try to write out your thoughts in a foreign language, you might inevitably hit roadblocks. You might not be able to think of a word or know how to formulate a specific idea or opinion yet. This can be great because these holes are the exact areas where you should focus your studies. 
You can bring up these problem areas in your next lesson or browse through your favorite language course or textbook in order to find the answer. The constant process of finding these language holes and filling them is what keeps you moving along the path to fluency. Once you finish your short text, it's a great idea to practice reciting it or even memorizing it. The memorization will help you internalize the new grammar and vocabulary you've learned. Reciting it will get your tongue and mouth used to the sounds. Number five, keep an up-to-date list on what you want to learn. Throughout your studies, you should always have a sort of language shopping list. As you practice and study, you will most likely come across things you'd like to be able to say, but don't know how to yet, especially if you follow our previous tip. Write this wish list down. It's one thing to learn the vocabulary you pick up via a course or podcast, both of which are great. It's a bit different when your vocabulary gets personal. Learn the words that matter to you, either because they're practical or because you simply find them interesting. The more relevant the vocabulary, the more likely you are to retain it. Some people might tell you it's impossible to learn a new language for whatever reason, but it's important to remember that the way you study and engage with a language greatly affects how quickly or effectively you learn it. For more ways to jumpstart your language learning, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to stay engaged with your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description. Being able to speak freely with native speakers is an amazing ability in itself. But being able to speak freely to a whole new group of people opens you up to possible new relationships. Most people don't realize that spending the time to build relationships in a foreign language can actually help you improve your language skills dramatically. In this video, we look at how making relationships in a foreign language can help you learn the language faster. The benefits of having friends and partners who speak a foreign language. First, it's motivational. One of the greatest struggles for anyone learning a second language is motivation. Nine times out of 10, learners start out their language learning journey with loads of enthusiasm, only to see it gradually wane over time. Try as they may, it's difficult to maintain the spark they once shared with their new language. So why not borrow energy from a different part of your life? When you make relationships with people in your target language, all the excitement of a new relationship carries directly over into your learning. Suddenly, you have a very rewarding reason to improve your skills and keep practicing. As your partner or your friends get involved, you will also have the advantage of a constant source of support and encouragement. Second, it makes language learning practical. Studying vocabulary and grammar is a vital part of language learning, whether you use a podcast, textbook, app, or find yourself in a classroom. However, as great as studying is, a language really only starts to come alive once you start using it in everyday life. There's a huge difference between a scripted conversation in a lesson plan and a real-life conversation with a native speaker. Building relationships with native speakers will give you the chance to talk in your target language often. Furthermore, it will be in a way that feels natural. You'll learn the words in the context, which is hugely important. Third, it's fun. One of the greatest benefits is that it allows you to practice without having it feel like practice. Oftentimes, you'll find yourself so wrapped up in the conversation that you forget you're using a foreign language. This takes a lot of the pressure off and helps you focus on communication over trying to speak absolutely perfectly. You also get to learn about a whole new culture from your partner or friends. So you're not only learning language skills, but also about the cultures that surround your target language. The risks of having friends and partners who speak a foreign language. First, it's easy to miscommunicate. When it comes to relationships, humans can easily misunderstand each other. So it can be hard when building relationships in your target language when you or your partner's lack of ability in each other's respective native tongue can lead to miscommunications that would otherwise be avoidable. Depending on the language you're speaking, a simple mistranslation or mispronounced word can drastically change the meaning of a sentence. As long as you can afford each other some extra patience and the benefit of the doubt, then you should be able to overcome this pitfall. Second, your language skills could suffer if your relationships don't work out. 
If all your language practice is wrapped up in one person and your relationship with that person doesn't work out, then your language learning could take a big hit. So it's best not to put all your hopes for language growth on one area, relationship or otherwise. You don't want to risk losing motivation, so try to find it in many different areas. An idea for building relationships in a foreign language. Make games out of getting to know one another. Sometimes, opening up in any new friendship or partnership can be hard. Add in the added struggle of a new language, and it can feel impossible to share your true feelings with others. So instead of trying to take first interactions so seriously and talking about the usual things like the weather or work, try to ask new, interesting questions. Try to figure out what the other person's hobbies are without asking directly, or what kind of job they have. This will give you a chance to stretch your language skills in a new way, and you'll probably get some funny answers out of it too. Being comfortable being silly or making language mistakes is a great way to bond with someone, even if you've just met. Relationships in a foreign language have a lot more benefits to offer than drawbacks. Don't be scared to open up to people and make mistakes. And for even more help to build relationships in your target language, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye.